Hi, and welcome to my channel. It's been a year since I did the first episode of building a 5x7 large format camera, which was building the bellows. Well, I'm finally getting round to doing the next episode, but things have changed slightly. Let's get into it. My apologies for the long time that it's taken to get on with this next episode, but um, this lovely old beast happened to me. When I was pulling everything together for building a 5x7 camera, which I really wanted, um, this Kodak specialist came up at a wonderful price, and so suddenly I had really no need for a 5x7 camera, even though I'd built these rather magnificent set of bellows. Um, and so for a while, I shelved the project. Well, of course, I still had half a roll of the black rayon Tivoli that I'd used for the first set of bellows. And I had a developing tank the Stearman Press Universal, that takes five by four right up to 10 by eight. Hmm. And 10 by eight is very handy for contact printing. So that was going to be my plan. I was going to wind back and build a second set of bellows for 10 eight and produce a design that you guys could follow along with me building. And if you wanted to, you could build yourselves as five by four, seven by five, or indeed, as I'm gonna do, 10 by eight. I'm not gonna go all the way through um, the description of building the bellows again. I went through that in the first video and I think it's pretty clear. There were some lessons that I learned, which I think I ought to in part to you. The first of which was that I made these bellows with ribs that were a bit too small. Now this means that the compressed length is really quite long and so the minimum focus distance for a camera using this set of bellows will be a bit compromised. Now I may still use this bellows on another camera but I'll have to do a recessed lens board to get that to work properly. What I did with the 10.8 bellows is I increased the depth of the rib so there were fewer folds in the bellows for the length. Now I knew the bellows extension I wanted to get because I'd looked at various other cameras from Intrepid to Shemini and Shenhao, and I was looking at around 550 millimeters extension without um, a top hat lens board or anything like that for longer lenses. So, uh, once again, I used the program that I will um, put a link to in the description, and I got a set of bellows designed. If there's enough demand, I may end up by cutting some sets of ribs, first of all for the 10.8, and making those available um, for a nominal amount. It's certainly going to be a lot easier than cutting them with a um, craft knife and a ruler, um, which I think will be pretty tedious. And here are the 10 by 8 bellows. Quite monsters. Um, certainly, I believe, neater than the previous set, and they compress a great deal more. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but they are a good inch and a half, nearly two inches shallower that way. They pack into each other nicely. Um, and this was exactly what I needed. Um, this, the 
seam is all nice and neat um, and it's all nicely lined. Okay, so here are the plans. I'm fairly roughly drawn and subject to a lot of change and evolution as we go through. The basic idea is for an all sapili wood body and at least as far as these plans are concerned I intend to use a linear rail um, slider units which are designed for CNC work as focusing rails. I have some reservations about doing that because as units they're quite weighty. Now I believe there are at least two other brands of um, shop bought cameras or store bought cameras that use these types of rails um, but the rail itself is stainless steel and it's really quite weighty and I think I can possibly bring the weight down and make the camera a little bit more manageable um, by looking at other methods but the basic construction will still be the same. No measurements are set in stone on this plan at the moment and um, they're all very fluid as I say it's an evolutionary process I shall build a bit at a time and see where we go from there. The first bit that I shall be making in the next episode will be the back part of the camera, the box part of the camera which will take the film back on it um, and for which the, the bellows will attach to. And for that I've bought a small trimming router which at the moment I'm in the process of mounting in a router table so that I can make some nice finger joints for the corners and again hopefully we should see that in the next episode. The 10 by 8 rotating back system will be essentially just a scaled up version of the 5 by 4 spring back I already built for my travel camera. Um, again, I can point you at that episode and that gives fairly clear instructions how I did it, but I'll be going through that again as I build the 10 8 back. I must say here that your suggestions and comments will be really valued in this project. If any of you have done any of this yourself, more than happy to take a bit of advice on it. I'm not a trained engineer. Um, I've absorbed engineering from my father, um, who actually worked on the British rocket research program back in the 60s. And all of my experience was gained messing around in his workshop. And so, yeah, I learned most of that by a process of absorption. Um, another project which is going to be part of this or allied to this is the shutter and this is the basic prototype. Um, it will hopefully be actuated by um, an Arduino and servo motor and give a whole range of exposure settings from probably around a fifteenth of a second down to 20 or 30 seconds. This again is an ongoing project so uh, look out for more details on this one but we'll I'll be giving some updates on it and um, as you can see it's at a prototype stage that's actually lever operated at the moment but I've got to just work on the electrics for this. Well hopefully the project is now back on the correct track and the next episode will be cutting those rear and front standard panels and sorting out that focusing system. I think there might be quite a lot of trial and error involved in that. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this episode then hit the like button and if you've enjoyed it more and you want to follow along with me then please think about subscribing. We're heading up towards that magical thousand and uh, I can't wait for that. So until I see you again take care of yourselves and keep taking pictures. <laughs>